What is up everybody, this is Ronnie from Canva. Welcome to another tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you and backed by popular demand, how to create an ebook like this one that you are seeing on your screen right now. So if you're ready for this, let's jump into Canva. All right guys, so the first thing I want to do is to search for a template. I want to start this project with a template and uh, not from scratch this time. So I'm going to go here into the search bar and type in ebook yoga. Yes. So you see this one? Uh, this is the format. It says a free ebook, 50 yoga poses to try at home. This is the template I was looking for because it is for an actual ebook. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to start tweaking from here. So uh, we will see that this ebook has seven pages and I want to start customizing them. So I like the color palette of this template actually. So I'm, I might be able to work with this, but I want to change because my ebook is not about yoga poses. It's about tips and tricks to start meditating every day. So here I have my notes with all my texts. So the main title of my ebook is going to be called how to meditate every day. And then I have my seven or eight pages here. So what I'm going to do is to go through this and start filling up the information, changing and tweaking this template and guiding you through the different steps. All right. So the first thing I want to do is to change my title. So I'm going to go ahead and copy my main title. So how to meditate every day. This is what is going to come here how to meditate every day. Now, the second thing I want to do is to change this picture right here, which is I believe in a frame. So all I have to do is to go to my photos and start searching for the right photo. So I would like woman meditating with a candle. Let's see if I can find something nice here. So now I just click on that frame and drop this photo in the frame. Okay, so I see this picture right here in my frame, but I have some kind of conflict here because the background is too bright for my text. So what I would like to love doing is to zoom in on this photo um, in order to get more of this brown, brown wall actually showing. So I could zoom in like this and maybe zoom even more. So what I will do is to zoom out here on my Canva template, on my Canva working area and position this nicely. I don't want to see the face of the woman per se. Uh, just trying to get this effect where we see a little bit of the plant and this is looking nice. So let me fit. Now, this is good. I see the hand, I see the mudra and I see the title. So I have my first page. It looks good. Maybe the last thing I can do to tweak this first page is to adjust the photo and add a little bit of a vignette on top of it. So it's a bit darker around the edges like this. This looks great. All right. I have my first page moving on to the second page. My second page will uh, kind of keep this layout right here because I like this font OVO. Uh, that might be a little bit too big. So I'm going like, to uh, resize this text to 24. And what I will do here is to change my text for the text in my note. It kind of states the benefits of meditation. Meditation will help you reduce mind wandering and increase focus. This is what will come here in this space right here. Okay, so I can reduce the text a little bit more like this. And of course, I will continue tweaking my photos. So women meditating. I like that. Let's find the right photo for this page. I can use this one. Okay, this is good. I want to see her hands, her face kind of looking focused. Yeah. And I don't think I need uh, a free ebook here one more time, but I will probably replace this text for discover how. So this is kind of like a call to action to move on to the next page. Okay, so I can see here, this bubble right here is made out of another circle behind the frame where this photo is inside of. If I play with this, maybe I could have the woman on top of this circle right here. So I'm going to group these two elements and position this forward like this. Yes, this looks better. 
And I will do the same thing with this element right here. I will push this back. So it's underneath my main photo right here. Okay, this looks good. What I can do maybe is reduce this so it's a little bit more centered. Okay, like this. Yep, this is looking good. So meditation will help you reduce mind wandering and increase focus. Discover how. Maybe the discover how could be slightly tinier. Let's say 17. Looks good. So discover how. All right, I have my page number two. Page number three is it's going to be the first step. So step one, okay, I like this, is choose the right spot. Okay, so in order to meditate every day, you need to find a spot that you feel comfortable with. So choose the right spot, okay? And now my next page is going to give me um, kind of like an introduction to what is coming. And the introduction is find a space that works for you. Yep, that is good. I don't like the yoga photo, so I'm gonna go uh, changing that. And my second text right here will say, find a quiet place where you feel both comfortable and relaxed. All right, and push this down. And now I need to find appropriate photos. I want the photo here of candle with bamboo. Let's say with bamboo, yeah, this is good. Let's go for this. Again, I'm, so I'm placing, I'm dropping the photo inside the frame and then double clicking on the frame so I can, I can reposition the photo. This looks good. Find a space that works for you. And then here, I want another photo of meditation. So again, continuing with my keyword, women meditating. Okay, it's just a question of finding the right person. One more time, I can simply scale this photo about this size okay this looks good all right I have my photos now moving on to the next page the next page is going to be five tips for setting up the perfect meditation space okay so first I want to recall my photo that I had on the first page so I'm gonna go to my photos here recently used and you remember this photo I used for the cover, this one, I'm going to be using it again here, but this time leave it full. So it will kind of remind me of the same vibe, but without really realizing it's the same photo. Yeah, that's pretty good. So the five tips, and I need to change this title right here, and this is the title I'm gonna copy. Okay, this is a longer kind of title, so I need to make some space for it. And the five here, I'm going to delete that and use this one. Okay, this sounds good. So what I'm going to do is to speed up the video while I fill up these uh, text boxes right here because I don't think there is anything complicated to this. It's just me grabbing from my notes and adding these in the right boxes. All right, so I have my page number five ready now. I have the five tips for setting up the perfect meditation space. So. I can move on to the next step. So that's step number two. So we have step one, find the perfect spot. And step two, establish a daily practice, right? Perfect, and that's my page six. Moving on to page seven. Page seven will say, start with just two minutes. Okay, so that is to encourage people to start because one of the hardest thing to do <clears throat> is to start. And if we kind of emphasize that it's only two minutes, so you can do it. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this text box right here. And of course, I'm going to change this photo right here. I want a woman meditating still because my target audience is women. And I want something that kind of looks natural like this person right here, not overdone, like, you know, not too much. I want people to relate to my ebook, to my tips in this book. So well, you know what? I'm going to add something here. I'm going to go to the elements and search for a timer. I kind of want to represent graphically these two minutes. Yes, this is good. I want something like this. Okay, this is good. I'm going to make this smaller and I'm going, going to make it fit here. Maybe this is still too big. Yes, this is nice. I don't want it to be black. I want it to blend nicely with my document color. So I'm going to go for this color, okay? And 
I will group all of this, maybe reduce the size of the text box like this. I will group and then center that. Start with just two minutes. Okay, this sounds good. This is my page seven. Now moving on to the next page. The next page is again, I'm going to give five tips. So what I will do is copy this one page here with my five tips, push it down. So you see, this is really the beauty of the templates, guys, is it's, it's almost, almost already done for you. All you have to do is to adapt this to match your content. I changed all of this, the dark brown background, which I shouldn't have because all the text is in dark brown. So I want the light brown like this, but I want to add some contrast. So I'm going to go back to my cream or even my white color. Yes, this text also gonna use the white color. This is good. I'm going to change this photo for another woman meditating. And I love that Canva remembers my searches here. So I'm going to continue in the same style of images, right? I want something kind of natural, not overdone, not too much, kind of something everybody could relate to like this woman right here. Okay, this is good. And to make it a little bit different from the first one, I'm going to make this bigger. And I could even switch it up a little bit with my five on this side like this. Okay. Let me stay within the safe zone, but also respect. Okay, five tips. And now this is not for setting up the perfect space, but it is five tips to help you meditate daily. So again, I'm going to speed up the video, copy all this content. All right, so now I'm going to zoom in to show you the result of this page and I'm going to move this a bit up so it's closer to my title. All right, now we have five tips to help you meditate daily. Number one, start with just two minutes a day. Yeah, maybe two minutes. I can cut like this. Do it first thing each morning. Yes, don't get caught up in the how, just do. Check in with how you are feeling and come back to your breath every time your mind wanders. Okay, these are good advices. These are good tips. And then I'm gonna finish this free ebook, which is kind of like a lead magnet if you wish. So you want to attract people to this and you want people to download this free ebook in order to maybe click on your call to action on the last page. So that's exactly what we are going to create on this last page, a call to action. And for this last page, I want the maximum contrast. So I will use this dark brown and I will also copy a text text box like this size. So I'm going to control C, go to my last page and control V. Okay, it's here, I'm going to change the color to the maximum contrast, which I believe will be white. And now I just need to add my text that will say, get started with daily meditation videos here. And this needs to be centered, maybe a little bit bigger. Let's go for 18 and I need a button. All right, so button, uh, I can search for shape. So for this, going to my elements, clearing the search and going to shapes. Yes, I've seen these kind of speech bubble here in Canva that I like. I'm gonna rotate this like this, 180 degrees. I'm gonna make this slightly bigger, kind of like that. And of course, change the color. I'm gonna go for my cream color. I'm going to duplicate this box right here. For this, I'm going to hold my Option key on the Mac. I believe on the PC is my Alt key and change the color of this to my dark brown like this and bring that forward. Okay, it's too big, but no worries because this is not my text. My text should actually say www.meditatedaily.com. And this is an invented website guy. I don't know if it exists. Uh, it doesn't really matter at this stage. It's just for the sake of this exercise. I'm gonna go 24 and I'm going to push this a little bit bigger. Select everything and position this at the middle of the page. I think this is a bit too big. Let's just go for 22 for now. Make sure it is brown. Yeah, it is brown. Okay, meditatedaily.com. Yeah, the last thing I want to do is to make this clickable because we are going to download this as a PDF. And so uh, when we will send that to people, when we have people download this PDF, they will have a possibility to click. 
right? So that's what we want to do here. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add a hyperlink on this, uh, these two elements combined. So first I will group them. Okay, and next I'm going to go to the three little dots here and find the hyperlink uh, button right here. So HTTP colon slash slash meditate daily.com apply. I don't know where this will lead me because I've never tried this website before, but let's imagine that is our website. And then finally, the final touch for this ebook, and then we will be done, guys, uh, is to add a visual element that kind of prompts people to click on this because it might not be obvious that this is a link. So for this, I like to go to my elements and search for click. Search for click and then you find all these things, the arrows, the fingers. Uh, so you just use one. I'm going to be using this one. Resize it. I like to rotate them slightly like this. And of course, you are going to be using the colors of your document. Yeah, this is nice. Okay, and I can bring it here so it doesn't disturb, like it doesn't cover any of the text, but it still make it clear that this is a clickable link. All right, so uh, this is how you create an easy ebook or lead magnet that you will be able to export as a PDF, which I am going to do right now. So I'm gonna click on download, select PDF, PDF standard, it's going to be fine, all nine pages and download. All right, so this is the PDF I created, guys, how to meditate every day. I like the vignette effect on the first page. Second page kind of uh, introduces the value we'll find in this little PDF. And then two simple steps. Step one, choose the right spot with five tips to finding the right spot. Step two, establish a daily practice with, again, five tips to establish your daily practice to meditate every day. And then your call to action, which is clickable. You see the hand right here. So if I click here, I will go to my website. So remember to search for the ebook templates uh, and the ebook, the right document size should be 512 by 800 pixels. So always remember that. Uh, so find the right template, then start creating your ebook. You see, it's really easy. I did mine in less than 15 minutes and I would love to see your design. So don't hesitate to paste them in the comment thread of this tutorial. Uh, that's it for this week. I will see you guys in the next tutorial.